Hi folks and welcome back to my YouTube channel and you're probably a bit surprised that I am back with a video on the paint boot. Now I did about four videos on building your own paint boot and there were many requests of people asking why did you not show us the intake fan box and this is the intake fan box right here and you'll see it further in the video when I'm going to show that to you in more detail. Other people also told me that Steve you never seem to finish any project. Well that is not true but I do many things at the same time. This is the paint boot guys it is completely finished and I'm going to show you around in a few minutes. In part four I was not able to show you on how we would build the air intake box and this is the air intake box and I already mounted the fan. It's the same fan as I used on the exhaust system and it's a very similar box but this time I have filters inside. I have two filters inside. I have a pre-filter inside and I have a cabin filter inside. So it's like a dual stage filter system. Now that's inside the box so I will need to open that up and show you. I made a hatch over here so we can actually open that up. With the hatch open, I have access to the intake air box. This is the fan, what you've seen on the outside. This is the first stage filter, which is the pre-filter. Now the filter is not on it yet, but I will put it on in a few minutes. And this is the same kind of garden maze that I used uh, for the exhaust filter. And I already mounted the cabin filter. That's the last one, which is, that's the one in there. So that's a different type of filter. Now I'm holding the filters in place with pieces of wood. And this is one of them. So I'm now cutting the pre-filter for the intake fan and I've done exactly the same with the uh, cabin filter and I'll show you in a second uh, how we fit it inside the intake uh, fan box. You order the stuff to the length and width you want. So let's see if I can show you on how uh, this is done. Um, So now we have that in place and now I do the remaining pieces of wood. So we've got both filters in place. This is the cabin filter and this is the pre-filter. And now we can turn on the fan and see how the filter presses against the grid. Yep, that's good. And now we can close the door and seal it up. If you want to see on how we have built this paint boot, then have a look at part one, two, three, and four. With the leftovers of the OSB panels, I built it a cabinet and, you know, it, it's not very fancy, but it gives me a pretty good uh, storage area for all the parts while I'm working on the cars. And the inside wasn't painted, but I don't think that was necessary. Uh, a lot of storage. And this is the good thing about leftovers. There we go. Here we've got the fan, intake fan. It's all controlled on a central panel. You can see how quickly it spins up. So now it's sucking in air and it's blowing it into the cabin. As you can see, uh, I haven't taken any shortcuts with the electrical cabling. If you do something with electricity then do it right. The paint boot by itself is about 4 meters 60 by 3 meters 40 and 2 meters 50 high uh, and if you want to know this in imperial sizes then just look on the screen I have it translated for you. The light switch is underneath the breaker panel and I have the control and the fuses for the fans like so as you can hear and for the heating system. Those are both breakers and fuses at the same time, so that makes it quite safe. Over here we got the uh, water separator. Normally the air compressor hose comes onto this side and this hose goes into the cabin uh, to provide the cabin with compressed air for spraying purposes. So let's have a look at the back of the cabin. And here we are at the back end of the paint boot and you might remember this big tube here when we installed it. This is the exhaust. Uh, this is where all the uh, fumes are extracted from the, boot, uh, from the boot and go outside. And this is the extraction box with the fan inside. The black part is the fan. 
and then with some additional leftovers I actually built a paint preparation area. I think this is quite handy to prepare the paint, mix the paint and all that. So I think this worked out quite nice. So now let's have a look uh, inside. You might remember from part number three uh, that we were building these doors and those are two fixed panels that are removable with these dead bolts. And if you want to see how that works, then have a look at part number three. And let's have a look inside the paint booth. Here we go. We are in the boot guys, we painted the floor so I can make it wet, so it's always better to paint cars or parts of a car when the floor is wet, not soaking wet, but a little bit wet so it keeps dust down. Uh, we installed the LED lights, so we installed the heating panels which are far end infrared panels. We've got the paint stop filter over here and on the other side we have the intake uh, filter, the cabin filter. We've got a little hook for the paintbrush, uh, which is always handy in the paint boot because uh, if you work with gravity-based um, paint guns, then you can't place them on a shelf or anything, so you have to hang them, otherwise they fall over. I have a little shelf where I can place something on. Right now I have the intake fan going and I have the extraction fan sucking the air out. And you can hear it is not that loud at all. And you can actually feel the gentle draft going of wind going to the other side and all the air got stuck back in here. So overall, I think this is working very well. And the final question is really, is it worth the money to build your own paint boot? Now, I think it is because I have paint jobs every so often to do on my projects and I want to have the paint boot handy and available to me. That's why I build it. Now, the total cost runs you around 2,400 euros for this kind of a paint boot, or about 2,600 dollars, US dollars that is. Uh, the most expensive parts were the two fans, they adding up quite a bit of money. Uh, I think they ended up around 700 euros for the two together. And then the heating elements, that's another 700 euros, that was expensive. And then of course the lights, but they were not too bad. The wood, the insulation, and I don't count the labor, of course, because it's one of my hobbies. Nevertheless, um, it is um, a 10 days job to build a paint boot like this one. Um, and you probably could do it cheaper uh, if you already have a room, maybe you have a garage already with clean walls, then you don't need to build the walls because I had to start from scratch with this paint boot. And then, of course, you will save a lot more money. But make sure you have sufficient ventilation because that is critical and that it's kind of dust free. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm going to sum up now all the materials and the cost uh, for it. So you have an idea on how I've spent the money on it. And very soon you will see me painting the sill of the Elise and parts of old Rusty. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you later in one of my videos. Bye bye and please don't hesitate to make comments. Bye. Yeah.